brushing your dog's teeth is so very important. And if you have an Italian Greyhound like I do, boy, it's crucial. Daily teeth brushing. How do you teach your dog, your rescue dog or your puppy, that it's fun to have their teeth brushed? Nikki was three years old when I got her. So the first thing I did was I made touching her mouth fun. So I let her lick her Kong. And while she licked her Kong, I lifted her lips and I put my hand on her mouth. And then she went back to licking her Kong. Now you can do this with treats or you can do this with a Kong, filled Kong, you put peanut butter or yogurt or pumpkin. Or I'll put a link below to a video that will give you all kinds of recipes. This is Nikki's food. You start off with a puppy, you let them lick the Kong, you pet them on their back, you touch them over their ears, you go over their face. You wanna make sure that you get your hands in their mouth. So you lift their lips and you look at the pretty teeth and you look again and you get your hand inside and you rub and massage so that your dog feels comfortable with you putting your hands in their mouth. This is what I did first with Nikki. She was three years old really had never had anybody work with her teeth. But if you're starting with a puppy, it doesn't have to be just an Italian Greyhound, it could be any puppy. You start with putting your hands in their mouth. You can also do this with treats. You can hold a treat, and as your puppy is eating the treat, touch their mouth. That gets them comfortable with you touching their mouth. So how do you get them used to having their teeth brushed? Start with a little bit of toothpaste on your finger and let them lick the toothpaste off of your finger. Now, I've tried a number of different toothpastes. When I went to my veterinarian this time, she suggested, Dr. Neal suggested that I research and find a toothpaste that is approved by the VOHC, the Veterinary Oral Health Council. So I looked and I found that Pet Smile was the only toothpaste that's been approved. So I thought, all right, let's try this. So if I had a new puppy, put a little bit of the toothpaste on my finger, put it on the Kong. Just put a little bit on the edge of the Kong so that your puppy gets used to the taste of the toothpaste while they are working to get their food out of the Kong or let them lick your finger with the toothpaste on it. This toothpaste is a little different than the others. And I wanna remind you, you would never use a human toothpaste with your puppy or your dog. This has Calprox in it, the only one that has Calprox. And it helps to dissolve the uh, little bits of food that gets on the teeth and the tartar which prevents the gum disease and the gingivitis, which can be quite a serious problem with Italian greyhounds. So I have the pet smile, and I've already put a little bit in her Kong and let her lick it. So now I'm just gonna take a little bit of, on my finger, and this is chicken flavor. Just gonna rub a little bit onto a tooth. That's all, and let her lick it. In that way, the Calprox in the uh, toothpaste helps her teeth. Okay, what am I gonna brush her teeth with? Oh, I have an assortment here. Big toothbrush that comes with the, some of the dental kits, way too big for an Italian grand and very hard. And when you're brushing a dog's teeth, you don't wanna rub them like you do ours. You want to do a very light massage up and down and circles around the teeth. So I thought, well, why don't I use this one? It came with the Arm & Hammer toothpaste. It's small, it has a small bristle. So I thought maybe I would use this one. So we worked with this one for a while, but it's still a little hard on the bristle. I'll just use a fingertip. And that's got a soft finger, but it was too big to get inside the mouth. So this is one of the great parts about Pet Smile. You have these little swabs. If your dog is 
not sure about you putting a toothbrush in their mouth in the beginning, take one of these little pet swabs. You can just put a little bit on the pet swab. It's like a long Q-tip and you just can touch it to the teeth. And it's so nice and gentle and works so well with the teeth. Then there's one more thing that I want you to know. The best toothbrush I've ever found is a human toothbrush. It's a toddler's toothbrush. It is so soft and it is as soft a toothbrush as you're going to find. So this I know is not going to irritate the gums. So when I use the toddler toothbrush and then I put the toothpaste on, I use the toddler toothbrush on the sides and I go up and down and make my circles and do everything that I need to do on the sides of her mouth with the toddler toothbrush. It's nice and soft. This works great. This comes with toothpaste, but please don't use that toothpaste because that's human toothpaste. So I use the toddler toothbrush on the sides and I use my little swab in front. Now, many of you know Nikki had a dental. And when she had the dental, they took out the uh, two teeth in front, the two incisors, and four teeth on the bottom. So this little swab works great to be able to get into the little opening gap between the teeth. So this, this was a real boon to doing her teeth. So that is how I do Nikki's teeth and Beezy's. Now, our routine is that we do it the last thing at night. And even though Nikki's on the bench right now and sitting up, this is not the way I do her teeth. Nikki lays in her bed and lays over on her side. And when she lays over on her side, it makes it so much easier to do the side teeth. And then she turns her head around and we do the other side. So this is our routine every night before we go to bed. So I hope this has helped you to know how to brush your dog's teeth. It's really essential that you start early. Start with puppies, even before they're teething. Get them used to you handling them, putting your fingers in their mouth, and then getting the toothpaste and the toothbrush. I do want to mention that when you're working with a young puppy, eight to 12 weeks, and you're getting them used to being handled and touching inside their mouth and their gums and their teeth, you may want to just be careful when they start to teethe because they do get a little sore on those gums. So you may want to stop brushing for a couple weeks while these teeth are coming in, but then go right back to brushing their teeth once they start their permanent teeth coming in. You can also give them dental bones and chews, but nothing takes the place of every day for an Italian Greyhound, every day of brushing their teeth. You will prevent the tartar from forming you'll prevent the gum disease. And when you prevent the gum disease, of course, you're keeping your dog healthy. Because with gum disease, along with that, comes a lot of problems, physical problems, heart problems. So, hope you've enjoyed this video. Nikki brushes her teeth every night. And if you'd like to see another video on how Nikki likes to brush her own teeth, here's a video on uh, brushing teeth and also another one on Italian Greyhounds pros and cons. Thank you. Please remember, subscribe to my channel, ring the bell, and have a great day. Bye from Joyce and Nikki at Diamond Dog Training. Bye-bye.